What's up everyone, it's Cole Davis, and today we're going to break down the first two choruses of THE Giant Steph Soul. You can thank me later, because today I'm giving you my thumb position cheat codes. So we're going to start here, third finger. This is pretty simple right here. Starting on three, and then I'm using my thumb right here to play this G sharp. So this first phrase right here is in a closed position. And then I sort of shift over here, so I'm on this D sharp right here with my thumb. And I have this major third right here. And then to play the next phrase, I'm just going to shift over here, making that a minor third. So. So that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty much in the, the first position here. Right? So now things get interesting. The logical thing to do, or rather the, the seemingly logical thing to do, would be to play this G right here. This is the G that we're used to, right? That's, that's the 12th fret if you play electric also or it's just simply the harmonic if you're used to it exclusively on upright. Right, that's how we tune, that's what we're used to. We're used to anchoring our thumb here. But I'm not going to do that. Why am I not gonna do that? Well, let's break it down. So we start from the beginning. And now the next note after this is a G. This is pretty simple, this is pretty easy, but it's gonna get interesting right here. So, now why did I play this G with the third finger? Why did I do that? Because the note after the G is a D. And at the speed that we're playing the solo, it does not make sense to go. You don't wanna play that descending fourth like that. That doesn't make any sense. So, instead, I'm gonna stretch and move over here. Let's check it out. Right? So this G ends up being very important. It ends up being important later as well. There's another G here. You don't need to use this G for everything just because it's the one you're used to. All right, let's move on. So we got this so far. Now, there's, there's a rest here, right? He's leaving, he's leaving a pause. So, we have enough time to get down here. And it's pretty self-explanatory from here, right? I like to use third finger, but you certainly don't have to. That's what I would do, but you're certainly welcome to do this as well. I find third finger to be a little easier because you can make that stretch, that sixth. All right, so let's take it from the beginning. We got. Okay, so now, this next line is a little tricky, but I think you can get it. So, we're starting here. Okay, so this part is pretty straightforward. Right, just a good old G major triad. Then, we're on this B right here. We're gonna put our thumb on the D harmonic. Right, we know how to do that. Now, we're going to shift this thumb around like three or four times. So 
that phrase right there. And then he answers that phrase. This is pretty straightforward too, but we're gonna put our thumb on the E flat. So this is interesting, right? Because we're using three thumb. This interval is a major sixth. If you're following along at home, it's a major sixth. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing with another major sixth. So now, so here, I'm using this first finger right here, because it's right below the B flat, which I'm playing on the second finger. Then I'm shifting my thumb over here to the G sharp. That way I can hit the C sharp with the three. Let's do that again. So it's. All right. So up to there, that's. Once again, you're going to think that this next part, which is just a good old descending B-flat B-box scale, would be phrased like this. That's how we know how to phrase that scale, right? That's natural to us. But I'm not going to do that. Why am I not going to do that? Why look for the living among the dead? So I'm going to start here on my second finger instead of my third finger. Right now, that seems like that seems like way too much, right? It seems like I'm spreading my hand out too far. There's no real reason to do that, right? Well, actually, it's way more efficient, even though it doesn't feel that way. The next note after this is an A flat. And if I play it like this, if I use the normal fingering, then that A flat is completely out of reach. There's no way I can hit that, that A flat in time, especially not at the speed that I want to play the solo. So I'm going to play this A flat with the third finger on the D string. So my A flat is now on this, this third finger on the D string. Right, so I'm using both 012 and 013 here. Let's do it from the B flat B box scale. All right, so this part. Here I have to make that leap. So we're right after the B box scale. I played. That makes sense. That's standard. I'm using one here so that way I can get up to this second finger right here. And here.
here I'm using my favorite finger combination, which is 0-1-2. I find it to be much more efficient, especially when playing something like this. So... With the 0-1-2, it makes it much easier to shift right here. Right? So, basically what I'm doing is, I'm using two scales. To get this right, I actually practice these two scales over and over again. I went... And then I, I, I put my second finger right here. Usually it's the first finger here, now it's the second finger. That way I can shift. And that's exactly what he's doing in this solo. So let's take it again from the B flat B bop scale. Right? Don't be afraid to put your thumb below that harmonic. Don't be afraid of that. That's pretty simple. And then to round out this chorus, I do something a little insane. So I go. Right, I have to jump up to get that B flat. There's no other way to do it. And my hands aren't even big enough to play it like this. I can't even reach that B flat. So I have to jump up with my thumb. Right? Okay, let's try the whole thing from the B-flat bebop scale to the end. So the second half of the first chorus. Okay, so let me do that slowly just so you get the whole thing. I know it's a lot of information there. So once again, B-flat on the second finger this fingering, then three right here, then shift, or rather pivot, I like to say pivot instead of shift, but whatever, to the second finger here, it was on the third finger, now it's on the second finger. So let's do that whole first chorus. 